Now you guys are able to win the game tonight against Laredo, gain a split in the series. There's a lot of talented pitchers in camp this year and on the roster. Um, a lot of good starting pitchers and a lot of good guys in the bullpen. How have you adjusted to your role, which has kind of changed on a nightly basis? I think, uh, you know, being the only lefty in the pen right now, you know, I come in in different situations and really uh, just focus on getting a zero every time I go out there and just, you know, getting people out and doing my heart, you know, trying my hardest just to, you know, keep putting up those goose eggs up there. The last time, the last two times you've pitched, you guys have had a big lead in Lincoln on Sunday and then tonight against Laredo. The other teams climbed back in it a little bit and you've come in for the ninth and worked a quick one, two, three frame, maybe four batters on Sunday. How important is that when a team is starting to gain some momentum, even though the score might not be that close to stem their tide and get the game done with? It's huge because, you know, we, we face all these teams more than once. So now they know that, hey, you know, we're going to go out there and try our hardest to put up a zero. And, you know, even if we have to, you know, we have to play these guys tomorrow, so it kind of shuts them down instead of, you know, maybe they put up a few more runs. And, you know, obviously we're all trying to put up zeros. and. You know, sometimes it doesn't go the way it goes, but uh, you know you got to go out there and try your hardest to get get it done. Obviously, you're not an inexperienced guy. You've had some experience in affiliated ball and independent ball, but you are still a relatively young pitcher. On this team, there's a lot of veterans. There's a lot of young guys. Are you trying to learn from some of those guys who have been to the highest level? You, you pick you know, every every team I've ever on, and, and this is everyone. You, you know, you you're always picking everybody's brains, and you know I give I. Luke has helped me out amazing. He's, he's a great pitching coach, and everything that's happened since my first two outings, all the success I've had so far is, is really stemmed from the, the help I've gotten from Luke. And even, you know, you, you ask everyone little things, and, and that's gotten me a lot better from, you know, where I was when I came in and where I'm at now. We appreciate the time, Al. Before we let you go, we want to give you a chance to say hi to anybody back home. My mom and my dad are back home, you know, so uh, I'd like to say hi to them. Pad, still your first week with the Wichita Wingnuts. You actually started the year with the team you guys were able to beat tonight in Laredo. How different is it playing a team that you were just a part of shortly after you were with them? Uh, it's, I don't know. It's a little difficult, I guess. Um, it's been all spring training in the first 10, 12 games with the team. Uh, we didn't really play any spring training games, so we faced our own pitchers uh, pretty much every day. So it's, uh, it's a little different facing them in a game situation, but. It's good to see their faces, and uh, it's good to get a good, a good W tonight. When guys are familiar with each other, you just mentioned you faced the pitchers on that team before. They faced you. Right. Who do you think has the advantage, a pitcher who's seen you hit before or you having seen the pitcher before? Right. Um, I don't know. For some, you always feel like the pitcher's got a little bit of an advantage for all those fielders out there. But, um, you know, it's good to, to know what the pitchers have and, and to get some uh, ABs. And spring training's a little bit different. You're just kind of tracking pitches and, and uh, just trying to get your timing. But, uh, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a little different than you know, a lot of places that you were just on the same team with three or four days ago. Hoop talked about when you came here, you were still trying to find some things with your swing. You've been working hard in the cage before games. Today you hit a three-run home run. You've been close a few times. Are you starting to feel better with that swing? Um, I have been feeling a little better. I've been really grinding out in the cage with Pop a lot, man. Uh, talking to him, uh, he's helped me out a lot. And uh, just, you know, it's just day-to-day -day for me. Just get in there and uh, just keep working my swing. Try to do what I've always done, you know, just try to be consistent, put the barrel on the ball. But, um, yeah, I enjoy the work, I enjoy the game, and just the everyday grind. So uh, I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. I don't know how many people know this, but you were a former teammate of your manager, Kevin yeah. Hooper, and also a teammate of our part owner, Nate Robertson. What's right. it like being around those guys on a daily basis in sort of a different light? Well, I, I, I uh, was very excited to have the opportunity to come here. Um, I've been talking to Kevin for a couple years now, obviously playing in the league. and. Uh, Total, total respect for who he played the game as hard as anyone I've ever played with. Um, I still remember that to this day. You know, everything he did was was, was 100%. And Nate was the same way. Um, I'm just uh, happy to be a part of this organization. Seems a bunch of class acts over here, and um, like I said, it's just uh, it's a great opportunity. We appreciate the time, Patch. Before we let you go, we want to give you an opportunity to say hi to anybody you're missing back home. Right, right, sure. Just say hello to the fam. I know uh, my dad listens to the games every night, but um, hello, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys soon.